Good morning, everybody. Um, it is quarter to 11 in the morning. I've just put Bonnie down for her nap. She's probably gone off now, I put her down about 10 minutes ago, so she's probably gone to sleep. Um, so I'm just going to make the most of that time by doing some batch cooking because we are getting to the bottom of our stash. Um, and as easy as it is to buy sachets and stuff, they're quite handy to take out, but it probably, well, it does work out a lot cheaper probably to make your own. And then at least you know exactly what's in them and what they're getting and stuff. I have these little pots. To be honest, they're not very, they're not big enough really for her portion size anymore. She scoffs one. Um, just on fire in the background. Um, yeah, so she has two at a time so i need to get bigger pots really these are not big enough they're like two ounces and she scoffs it but um yeah so i'm just gonna put them on the side at the side to um defrost um i've got some leftover veggies from when i made that lot up um i'm just boiling some water to obviously boil the veggies but i'm gonna do two batches i'm gonna do a salmon batch and a chicken batch both with veggies um because I read this thing that about how much they're meant to eat um, food wise as a baby palm size amount of meat or fish so obviously only this probably like that big only little um, a baby fist size amount of carbohydrate uh, e.g. pasta potato rice and so on so she definitely doesn't really get that she's more of like a veggie diet um, with some meat and then between one and two portions of vegetables where one portion is a baby handful um, and they're to get that that says twice a day so I just thought right I'm going to go off that just make my own um, I'm a vegetarian um, but I just I don't want her to, she can be a vegetarian when she picks to be a vegetarian but yeah so I'm going to make them up. I've got some veggies. I'm not 100% sure what veggies I've got because I basically batch bought last time vegetables and then I chopped them up and put them in the freezer so I just let them go off and wasting them. Um, so this is courgette. Frozen yummy courgette um, in there. And then this is, I think this is carrots. Yeah, that's carrots in there. That should be enough because I always make too much. So, ingredients wise, I bought these from Tesco's obviously skinless wild salmon fillets. Um, they were just they're just frozen, you can cook them from frozen. Um, you can even microwave them, pan fry them from chilled, but yeah, from frozen and put them in the oven from frozen. Um, so I just got some of them. I don't know how much they were. They weren't massively expensive. I just got some frozen peas, a fresh broccoli. I got some potatoes and some sweet potato. I also, and then this is what I had left over in the freezer from last time, which is some courgettes, and then which I've already chopped up. And then in here is just some chopped up, pre-chopped up frozen carrot. So I can just chop that all in to the saucepan over there I have already cooked this salmon oh, my mum's ringing me honestly bear with sorry about, sorry about that so yeah I've cooked these salmon already I mean they look a bit dodgy on the camera but yeah I'm not sure that's going to be enough if not I'll just cook up some more I guess um I've got two more fillets in the thing that's just boiling for the veg so yeah I was thinking of doing like I'm thinking sweet potato peas and courgette and then I'm gonna I might do broccoli carrot potato with the chicken so yeah let's get cracking
so actually that water's been there so long it's actually like quite a lot of it's evaporated so that's great i'm not actually sure just i'm just a bit of a rough around the edge oh my god oh my days mm, i'll get that in a minute um just lob it in i'll top the water off in a minute might have to get two on the go but i don't even think i've got two saucepans i mean this is really great isn't it guys really great can fall chop that in as well do you think that'll fit oh maybe it might oh, I'll just go for it oh my days <laughs> a little bit full isn't it give it a stir i'll just wait for that to do its thing we'll rescue that bit of potato Salmon is looking interesting. Jiggy's in. Woo! Fogged up my lens. Sorry about that. Um, phone's going off. 11 11. <laughs> I knew it. Oh. Me and Chris always text each other saying 11 11. Mine's 11 11. Um, but yeah. That is the most ridiculous saucepan. It's so sad. But yeah. That's now very much boiling. Um, this is getting there, to be fair. I'm just um, softening that. <laughs> um, and then I think I'm going to give this like five more minutes and then maybe put the broccoli in with it. I mean, that you can put a fork through the potato now, so. Um, always, obviously, that's getting there. See what I mean? Might give that a few more minutes, then whack the broccoli in. Hopefully it'll fit. And then this should literally take like two minutes to just soften up. And then I'll drain that and then I'll swap it and put um maybe the peas and the carrots might fit to be fair. Oh I just gotta think about mixing. Did not think that through, did I? No, I'm literally gonna have to pick all the sweet potato out of that. Buzzing. <laughs> mm. Let's put them in there like that, actually using that. And then I'm just gonna boil the carrots off again. Boil the carrots so they're defrosted and soft. That is really bubbling. A little bit of a nightmare that I'm gonna have to pick the sweet potato from the normal potato. Honestly. Yeah, I just tried to cut corners, didn't I? It didn't work. So, oh well, things we do for our babies. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. So that's gonna take me a little while. I'm hoping she's asleep. Should we go check on her? You're not very asleep. <laughs> Excuse me. You're meant to still be asleep. Minx. That is not asleep, is it? No. Oh, hi. Hello. Hello. Are you climbing up? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Cute though. Right, I guess you're coming downstairs then. Didn't you? Ha ha ha. Yeah, so that's not gone to plan, is it? That was not a very long nap. <laughs> okay. So that just, just, you know, it's fine. It's, it's fine. <laughs> Like she's crawling all over the place, but yeah, 
We're just going to put you down here and hopefully you play for like 10 minutes, okay? Do the outfit of the day, Bonnie. So Bonnie's outfit of the day. Bonnie, she's got a long sleeve vest from Tesco's on and some bright pink leggings from Primark. And her Marks and Spencer's bib. And she's got her gloves, so that's great. All is there. Right, so the potato is done. It's now the mammoth mission of um, flicking through it. Sweet potato out. Buzzing for that, man. Buzzing. Why mummy does this? <laughs> what, what do you, oh my god. Do you want to go in it? You can go in it. Okay. Right, so now I've separated the courgette and the carrot. And that's going to go with the salmon. Just needs to add some peas with it. The potato is all sectioned off. I've now just put the broccoli in there to boil. That carrot's actually probably done. So that's going to go in with the potato. I just sort of like fork test it actually that much carrot in here but it's fine okay no actually it's not it's not done it's definitely not done it needs a bit longer maybe about five minutes right she's got cocoa melon on just so i can get this done that i've just put the peas in there broccoli's getting there added the carrots to that I mean, we're getting there, people, but I'm not going to come out there and say that this is easy. Maybe if you were just doing, like, one batch. Oh, my God, the chicken. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, that's done. <coughs> oh my God. I'm not going to come out and say this is easy because it ain't. <laughs> um, it's not as easy as an Ella's kitchen pouch, honey. But, you know, you're doing it for the, the, for the, the, for the kids. You're doing it for the kid. All right. Okay. So I've got the salmon, I've put it all in this bowl to like churn it all up, so I'm just going to add that to that, like that. Just got the chicken out of the oven, I mean it's cooked, so that's good. Just save a little bit there for the dog. <laughs> the broccoli is getting hot, so that's good. We're getting there people, we are getting there. I mean, I don't know what time I started doing this, I guess quarter to eleven, it's now, I've been doing it an hour. So, I mean, it's not for the faint-hearted, that's for sure. And, obviously, if I've got a newborn at the same time as I'm trying to do this, I'm probably going to struggle a bit more. I mean, she's been good as girl sat there watching Cocoa Melon that she doesn't usually like. So, yeah. <laughs> These are basically done. Um, that is boiling away. So, this is the last component for the sweet potato. And get that in and then I can start mushing that up but yeah I mean what am I doing this is stressful guys I mean it's a really lovely idea like cook up for your kids and like know what's in it but Jesus I don't think I'll be doing two batches again two separate things honey no way because it is just a lot like and like I'm probably made so much that I'm not going to be able to put this anywhere <laughs> so that's great but like, I mean I've made so many peas like I know I might have to go into town buy some pots 
Right, and she's just gonna have to eat this for like the next two years of her life. That baby girl number two is probably gonna be eating this. <laughs> Cause like, that that's a big old juicy pot of goodies in there. Isn't it? Mmm. But I mean, it's full of goodies, so yeah. I mean, there's so much of it. I'm definitely not gonna fill up pots with that, but yeah. Right, I think this broccoli's done as well, so let's move on to that. Right, I've just combined all the chicken ingredients into there. But I mean, there's so much, that's literally a whole saucepan. God knows what I'm gonna do with all this. This is the thing with batch cooking. It's just a bloody guessing game, like. Just got a guess, really, but um, yeah, enjoy. Right, that is the chicken done, the salmon done. We've just got to now put it in pots. I have no idea where I'm going to put all this food, which is just great. <laughs> so I've just got these little pots. My mum got these actually from like the local takeaway. Um, they're a bit bigger than the green ones, which is handy. They're like a better portion size for her. But these are a really nice size. I don't know how big they are. They're like, you know what you get like mint sauce in? <laughs> <laughs> and she just saves them and they're microwavable and I have had them in the freezer um, so they're freezable they don't break and they don't like your food doesn't seep out so I've just potted this to be fair there's not actually as much in there as I thought there was going to be so I might just I might not even need to get some pots and I might just um, do that for her dinner and then her lunch tomorrow, it should keep, but these pots are definitely a better size than these because you think these are like two per meal, so one meal, two meal, three meal, four meal, five meal, six meal, one, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's a big meal, so yeah, I'm just going to clear these pots up, Bonnie's just had her lunch, so got back in about half an hour ago we just popped out um to meet my mum my sister-in-law and two of my nieces um for a coffee stop basically um bonnie is so tired bless her she's only had about 20 minutes in the car on the way to um the coffee shop and then stayed awake for ages bless her she was so happy and then i managed to put her in the cot so i'm gonna let her nap for at least another half an hour um but yeah, I've managed to make all them pots up. I've got that little bit left over that I'm going to make for her dinner. Give her for a dinner and tomorrow. As it should keep, I would have thought. Um, and then, yeah, I didn't get any more pots. But I will next time before I batch make, get some more bigger pots. Um, but yeah, it was stressful. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll probably do it again. But, well, I will do it again. But um, sachets are just so easy and convenient. But um, yeah, it is what it is. But um, I mean, yeah, I've learned a lot today. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes. And um, I'll do it better next time. Probably we'll do one batch at a time and then maybe <laughs> do it separately rather than making a total mess of it. But um, it all come together in the end. Um, and yeah, and so all that that I had there made about uh, made about two weeks worth of food, probably. Um, so yeah, so it's not too bad, um, considering. Definitely cheaper than um, pouches for two weeks, doing it that way. But um, 
yeah well thanks for watching guys and um yeah hope you enjoyed the video hope you've uh, learned something <laughs> but yeah i'll see you soon bye